Grand Rising, everyone. This is Empress Jennifer. Yeah, we're going to do some blackouts. I hope you all don't mind. Just please pay attention to the voice. Let's, let's really resonate with the true voice of Empress Jennifer, not, you know, the copycat that's out there uh, trying to impersonate me or character assassinate me. But at any rate, it is... Um, November 26, 2024. Uh, let's see. The time is what? 9.43-ish a.m. or so. Well, I'm encouraging myself with this message. And possibly someone else. Um, and that is if my enemy don't manipulate my voice by trying to... Thank you, Most High, for this day, for this is a day that you have made, and I will rejoice in it and be glad. Go forward to the girl that needs this message. You know, um, was in a victim mentality, but I know that I am a mom. But I'm not a victim. Decree and declare I have victory over presence. However, once when I was unaware who my oppressors were, and now that I know who they are, that changes the game. That changes my narrative to knowing that okay I know who you are I need to stay away from you I need to collect myself and learn from the mistake of allowing you in my space so now that I know who my oppressor or aggressive person or people are, I am no longer your scapegoat. I am escaping your cruelty of what I will call an arrogant, foolish individual. I know there is a God because he has saved me from so many attacks that you have sent my way um, from childhood teenage um, to becoming a woman bearing my own children so I know that I am capable of regulating how I proceed in life, decision making, although some things were altered due to other things that were being done to me as a child, uh, like spell work, uh, you know, as a child, growing up early on they say from age zero to six that's when you're really gravitating to learn whatever it is you're being taught by the parent that you are around so you know I thank God that my stumbling blocks were not an ultimate uh, failure, an ultimate, um, it wasn't permanent. It was a stepping stool for me to learn from and to either grow or gravitate to more of it. And so in saying that, I know that I do not want to uh, 
stay in this victim mentality. And I forgive my oppressors, my abusers as a child. I, I really do. I, I feel sorry for you because you knew, you knew not what you do or otherwise you would not have done it. And then I think back, you know, in my family dynamic itself, there are so many secrets, so many secrets. I, I just don't know, you know, why my big mama chose to become a um, foster parent. But did she have children of her own? Was she capable of having children of her own? I cannot ask those questions of her because she's no longer here. But I'm sure someone knows the answer to that question. Um, especially since the big daddy, which is my grandfather, but could possibly be my father, um, you know, incest or people playing and dabbling in things that they ought not do. I mean, Sandra, if you did that, I mean, you made a mistake. Okay, get over it. Don't try to continue to punish me because you made a mistake. I get it because I made mistakes growing up under your rule and reign. Okay, but I got over and I choose not to harm or hurt other people. Whether you want to hear that from me or not, it doesn't matter. I just choose not to become what you try to make me become. Um, and also if you're hurt because of money or whatever it is that you chose to mistreat me to make me some type of scapegoat, I reject that. I do not receive that because I'm so much better than that. I'm a genuine, honorable person, a decent person at heart. I choose to not uh, judge a book by its cover. It's the content of the book that matter or the content of a person's heart that matters. And some of us need a heart change, a heart cleanse a heart makeover. And the only way that you can get that is if you go to the creator who created you. Um, money cannot do it. A house, a education can't do it. And that's evident in my oppressors who have come after me. So, I mean, that's enough said right there. That is evident that the money cannot satisfy your cruelty or your hate in your heart, your house, your cars, your associations, because your associations must be confused as you are uh, to have even entertained your narcissistic behavior.